trick or treat. <laughs> Happy Halloween, everyone. I know I'm recording this the day before, but it's Halloween season. I am even decked out in my Halloween jammies because they are, and you can't see the bottoms. You've got to see my feet and my legs. Let's see if I can not knock this down. Oh my gosh, this is not working. Because seriously, these are cute jammies. Look, look y'all. They got candies all over them and they are stinking adorable. And I'll bring you back up to real life height now. Hello. But yes, it is Halloween season and um, Tomorrow is Halloween from the day that I'm recording this. It is Vlogtober day 30 and it is a Saturday vloggy thing kind of all together. Whoops, sorry about that. Did not mean to tip y'all sideways. It's kind of a wonky setup, but it is what it is, you know? But uh, I just wanted to make this little vloggy thing a little bit different because I know I'm going to be gone all day once I get done with work. I'm on a lunch break right now. I know I don't look like I'm working, but if you saw my community post this morning, I work from a home office, so if I decide to wear, you know, Halloween jammies on a Saturday, I can totally do that. Oh, nails. Yes, and don't blame the Color Street people for how poorly I do this because my nails are always in bad shape. But these babies glow in the dark. They do. It's awesome. I can darken the room. I mean, I can't right now. It's daytime and, you know, lights are on. But it's like, whoa, all I see are my nails. Excellent. So, beyond that, it has been just a crazy, crazy week. If you've been catching up with Vlogtober, you know that also coming up is hashtag that 80 show. Look at my previous video for that. Or uh, Miss Darling Neva and a whole bunch of other people that are going to be participating. We're all doing that 80s thing. We're going to be doing like 80s stuff and 80s crochet and 80s everything. So there is all of that. Now this week, as far as crochet, I've been trying to keep up with my Crochet Tober blanket and keep up with the Pick and Mix cow. There really hasn't been much time for much else. It really has been a busy week with a lot of work and everything. The Pick and Mix cow right here, Lisa Ladybird Loves is doing that. I will have the link. I don't know where it goes, but it'll pop up up there to where you can click on it and go to her channel. This week, um ended up being my this color and I don't remember which number it was but I have it written down and it's bobble stitches and I just I sent the picture already she's like wow those are big bobbles they are big bobbles and they're on both sides see where it looks like there's no bobble here that's the bobble on this side so that's what I did I've got four rows of that and I imagine it'll draw back in a little bit when I do my main color in my extended link double crochet once I get done I mean, I'm done with this, but once I get a chance to sit down and crochet. And yes, it's growing. No, mine is not going to be a huge blanket, but that's okay. It's mostly going to be like on the back of my recliner. I've got a big, huge brown recliner, so that. I'm really hoping we get some more of that color in there. I love that burnt orange. I think it's really pretty. Of course, I like all of them, but it's, you know, it's very neutral for me. I'm kind of a out there bright person. Speaking of out there and bright, my crochet tober blanket. Holy cannoli. Okay, I keep my hook stuck in it so that I don't lose which hook I'm using on it. Let's stick that in a skein of yarn. Y'all, this thing has gotten huge. No, I have not taken care of my ends in the last few days. Like I said, it has been busy. I cannot get all of this in one frame. Doot, 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 doot. That's me going, that's the going across noise for some reason. You can see there's that web in the middle. <laughs> And it goes on and on all the way to there. This last round, though, it's getting so far around that scrap balls won't get all the way to the end. Um, I started off this one, and I'll have to look this way because this is the way it gets crocheted. Okay, I started here with this random blue. I had a ball of blue, okay? And it went, and I thought it was big enough to go all the way around. It was not. Went around side one side two holy smokes this is heavy 
<laughs> and it just barely turned the corner going to side three. I'm like, okay, I've got some of this brown that I've been using to kind of fill in gaps, you know? So I said, maybe that'll finish the row. And it goes, and it goes, and it goes, and we turn the corner and go to side four. On side four, we are still on the brown for this time, but then we're not because I actually ran out of my fill in brown. So I used the rest except for like this much of uh, the camouflage round that I had. So there's some more camo in here, right here on the end and there it goes. And I did snip it off, but th there wasn't much left. There's not enough to be a scrap ball for anything. No. It is definitely a scrap at this point. So this thing is definitely big enough to snuggle under. There will be a round for today and a round for tomorrow that will get added on. So, you know, it'll be a little bit bigger, but this is almost finished. I'm kind of sad that it's going to be done. This has been a fun challenge for me. Um, challenge, not only, I mean, I've never done a granny square blanket. Okay, that, that's a first for me. Uh, I've never done like a, a vlog video every day kind of thing for like a month or whenever. Never. That is hard. I mean, it's hard for me. It's just a challenge to get everything out there. And um, yeah, it, but it's been a fun challenge. This was Crochettober 2021 and I am definitely looking forward to Crochettober 2022 because I love all things Halloween. Speaking of which, Later on this evening, despite the ground still being wet, I don't care, I will have my combat boots on, not the pink ones, the ones that can handle the weather. And um, I'm going to Mad World. Yes, Mad World Haunted Attraction. It is such fun. I've had my tickets since they had their half price sale in August. So I've definitely been looking forward to that. We wanna get down there while it's still daylight so we can actually park. Because the line for this place, you turn down a country road, you can see it from the interstate but you have to turn down this country road to get there. The line to get in, when my friend Sean passed it a week or two ago, went from the place, up the country road, around, back onto the sort of main road, that, that's the exit from the interstate, and almost to the interstate. Wow. So I want to get there early enough where we can actually park because we have tickets to play the games and like do the mini golf and do the escape rooms and stuff like that because they have a ton of stuff to do. I won't be wearing this. No, <laughs> this is just my work outfit for the day. And uh, yeah, I decided to have some pigtails today because why not? It's Halloween season. We can be whatever we want to be. And today I want to be eight apparently. Although when I was eight, my hair was super curly and very thick. I had, I mean, when I did pigtails, it would look like Princess Leia buns on my head. And since that was the age, that's when Star Wars originally came out. Yes, I'm old. Okay. Um, yeah, so I stopped doing that because I didn't want to be called Princess Leia. I was picked on for everything else already. I didn't want one more thing added to it because I had really big hair. My hair has calmed down a lot. Uh, <laughs> anywho, thank you so much for coming by today. Like I said, this will probably be a combined video for Vlogtober, Crochettober, and my regular Saturday vloggy video. That noise you're hearing is the Oscar walking on that trick-or-treat bag that I set down. Since he's here, his little fuzzy butt's going on camera. Come here. Oh my goodness. Hi. Say hello. Don't want to say hello? Want to look at the ceiling? There's nothing up there. Maybe some dust. There might be dust up there. But this is my teeny boy. Are you teeny? Yeah. And yes, he has eyeliner. He's a pretty boy. Like the guys in the 80s, they all wore eyeliner too. I think they still should. I kind of like that about the 80s, the guys with the eyeliner and really big hair. Okay, maybe not the really big hair. I saw a video last night on Colbert, which was the day before his Colbert, and they were making fun of something. They were mocking this song. It looked like it must have been some song thing from the 80s from Europe, 
but every single person that was singing. It was like a We Are the World, but not. I don't know how they ended up with that much Aquanet in one room and didn't make the place go bluey, okay? Oh, no chomping. No chomping mama. He's chomping his mama. Ow. Um, it was insane how much big hair there was. Just totally nuts. If I can find, remember to find a link to that, I'll put it below because, yeah, it's really, really insane. Although some of the humor, I know some of you will probably be offended by it, but it was aired on CBS, you know, CBS in the evenings. So it's just a thing. But that big hair, y'all, it was big. I hope that huge hair doesn't come back. I don't want to have to invest in that much hairspray. Because, yeah, that's a lot of hairspray. And from what I've heard, Aquanet doesn't have the same hold that it used to. You used to be able to shellac that stuff, buddy. I mean, just boom. You could walk into stuff and your hair would break it. Yeah. Anyway, trick or treat, y'all. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. A wonderful rest of your October, crochet-tober, vlog-tober. Do some trick-or-treating if that's what you do. Eat some candy if it just isn't, because why not? And uh, I will see you very, very soon. Tomorrow for the last day of Vlogtober. Bye, y'all.